this is the new rabbit hutch. So, well, we had to make it because it, we had to assemble it ourselves. And um, this is them exploring it because really they've never seen it before. So, that is the old hutch which I partially destroyed. That is the hutch they've been in that is also quite old, but we'll be using it just in case we need to separate them, which sometimes we do. And then that is their rabbit run. Um, we have decided to get them a small rabbit run because they keep getting out of it by climbing over it, which I will show you. So, because there's holes in the netting, they can put their foot here and then climb up it and over it or they can jump on top of there and jump off it and over or they can dig so we decided that we would um get them a new rabbit hutch um in my opinion it says self assemble um uh, it says easy assembly on the thing that was telling you about it but um in my opinion, it wasn't such an easy assembly. Yes, it came with all of the nails, but with, if you don't have a drill, like ours is broken, then um, you will have quite a hard time doing this. It also said um, you it's a one-person job. It took us about four people because we had to hold in the joints, like here, and um, while they were screwing, and uh, yeah. I think they really like their little cage, don't you? Hey, little bunnies. So, this can lift up on both sides. No getting out, Whiskers. This can open up here. Um, hang on a minute. Don't I was opening it up the wrong way. So this can open up here. Um, down here can open up too so yeah and then you can open it up from here uh, you can't lift this ramp up but I don't think I mind about that too much and there's also it's kind of tough because we didn't get the height exactly right for the hutch but this is the um, flooring which you can take out to use their bedding and stuff well re um like clean out their hutch and stuff pretty much um on the other hutch we had to put some netting down because they kept digging out of the hutch and i think that's what's going to be the problem um you can see that this hutch was bigger than this hutch but honestly i think this one is better for them because um, that one, uh, they would just chase each other everywhere. Whereas this one, like, instead of being super tall and super wide, it's longer. Which I like about that hutch is that it's longer um, instead of like that. So, yeah, I think they really like it that they can eat the grass. But eventually we might have to put some netting on it. And it'll just stop them from eating or stop them from digging. But if we do put netting on it, it means that they won't be able to eat the grass. Which means that there's no purpose of putting it outside. So I think we'll reuse some of this. Um, because the grass will be able to grow through it. And they also won't be able to dig. Um... The only thing that I've noticed so far that I don't particularly like about this is that the ramp makes noises when they climb up it. Um, other than that, oh, oops, that was silly of me. So you have to take this off and put it over here when you want to open this. But there is actually a sliding door. I'm not sure if you can see that very well, but there is a sliding door, so it's handy when you want to keep them 
here. So, um, if I want to stop them from digging temporarily, because I'm trying to clear, like, I'm trying to move the hutch, then I can move them up here. And if I'm trying to clean out this area, I can make them go down there. And it's just handy so that they can't, you know, like, annoy me or jump out. Because they could quite easily jump out of this. And when they stand up on their hind legs, they can reach about this high. And they can't, like, so this height here, so this high to this high, compared to that high. So I definitely think they could easily jump out of this if you aren't careful. Um, it did say it came as waterproof. Now, I don't th honestly think this is waterproof, to be honest, because this is about the same, ma the same material as the other hutch, and it's a lot lighter. Like, on here... You can tell it hasn't been glazed in a while, which is why it looks quite old. Um, but it has been glazed with waterproof coating. I can't remember what it was called. Um, I like how you won't have the roof fall on top of you. Because this one, I know it's backwards. You would, you would lift it up and, the, and it would be diagonally. But occasionally it would slip forward and land on top of your head. Um, I'd also like to mention that my cat keeps staring at the bird feeder because eye waxes and sparrows keep coming here to get the food and they, um, uh, like, <laughs> and it keeps making them chirp and stuff because they'll grab the hay. Um, it has been wet, very, very wet recently, so the hay has been blowing around, like, this used to be one big hay bale. Um, now it's just this pile that I kind of need to tidy up. But, yeah. Eventually, I would like to move this over here. Um, what I like about this, um, this hutch, we rolled it over onto its side because when it's originally the right way around, this is the um, roof. You would open this up and um, reach down and have to grab them or climb inside. Now it's on the side. It was open so that they could get out into the rabbit run. Um, but this meant that when... We did that. This was supposed to be the side um, when it was rotated, um, and that meant that it was exposed on the roof. So we had to get this was the roof of the old hutch from there. So I just make made a makeshift roof um, on top of the rabbit hutch here, and then we used the pot to keep it keep the door shut when we wanted it shut. But the problem was the rain. Even though the rain wouldn't get up here get through into the hutch it would collect up here or it would just go through here and it also meant that it was really hard to move the rabbit hutch so um we ended up having a lot of poo like just be collect up at the bottom of the hutch so i didn't like that very much because we couldn't clean it or anything so i really like this now um, it was quite expensive, 149 New Zealand dollars, and you may be thinking, well, what about the rabbit run? Um, yes, it used to be way bigger all around here, and, but they kept getting out, so we had to make it smaller, and even then they got out again, so we decided that we would just get a small, um, black playpen thing, and what we would do, what we were planning on doing, is either putting it from here all the way around to here, or just putting a separate cage, well, the playpen in separate areas around so that 
they didn't ha if it was stayed in one spot then they would eventually dig so i think how it's about the same height as that which they can jump up that high but they won't be able to climb up it because it is metal um well i'm not sure what type of metal it is uh, but i think the bunnies are happy <laughs> So I just wanted to talk, I haven't done a video in a while, so I just wanted to show you guys um, the bunnies' reactions. I think they quite like that they can eat the grass. Um, every once in a while, obviously, we'll move it just so that, like, they get all of this long grass that we've been getting recently because there's been so much rain. Um, I'd also like to say that... Uh, we got quite a lot of blueberries this year, but um, because it's quite cold, they've gone dormant here, um, which means that we probably won't get as much of a crop next year. The Fijoa crop this year wasn't as good as last year's, um, but I quite like it, and the daffodils are coming up everywhere, even though we didn't plant them this year. Um, the birds quite like the thing here so there's some wax eyes just eating at that um the only thing that survived all of the rain like because we let the tomatoes like dry out um the only thing that survived was the coriander because it was hanging off the side um when we got rid of the pool um because we take it down during winter um it basically uh, lift this great big patch and it's already starting to grow over but um, uh, it meant that when we tipped all of the water out there was tons of worms climbing up from the surface so we had to get them all and put them in that crop plot area eventually we are planning on getting rid of these hedges um, and this tree, because this tree's a female. Hey, birdies. Um, sorry, buddies. This tree's a female, and there is a male version of it over there, and the male one has thorns. And what happens is the thorns, um, they are just... It's not very good, because they grow like weeds, with thorns everywhere, and they're really big. And I don't like them at all because we have to cut them down every year because they grow, they can grow like seven meters tall. So we really hate it. So we decided that we would chop down the female version so that it can't grow as big. Um, and it also means that we can move the large vegetable things from around the back which I'll show you in just a second, um, over here so that we can grow a vegetable garden. And it means that we can move this pot that we have over here and grow like some daffodils and stuff in it. Because recently all we've been using it for is just putting like leaves and stuff in it um, to make compost, which we have a compost bin already. So that's our plans. So we can have like a pot with like tulips and daffodils in it and then we can have all of the vegetables and the um crop plots i'm not sure what you call them in other countries but we call them crop plots and um last thing i want to say is we had to chop down this tree um because it was leaning and one good storm and it would have gone crashing down this way into our backyard um so we had to chop it down but it meant that the bird's nest there fell out unfortunately um so there was a little sparrow's nest there um and we haven't had time to chop it up completely we have just this fort that my cat likes climbing on so i think we could make it into monty's little like playground i guess um which would be quite cool I think Monty's exploring. <laughs> He's just like, I can go into the hutch now. He used to go into the hutch all the time while the rabbits were out in the rabbit run, and we'd have to go in and grab him to get him out because he's not supposed to go in there, are you? Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, 
other than <laughs> um, the rabbits keep getting through there, so we had to build up, like, this little fence thing out of the table and stuff. Um, so, other than that, I think I have nothing else to say. So, yeah. I will see you guys later. I am, again, sorry for not posting any videos. Bye!